So straight and level. See how she's responds? Boom. Yeah. She's like, we got to get this thing back, that nose back yeah. up, right now. Firming up. And I, I love, I love how responsive it is. It's yeah. Just it's not, not overwhelming. It doesn't snap you over in an uncomfortable kind of way, but you can tell that it's got great control of the airplane. Yeah. Aspen and Avidine both make glass cockpit displays. Competitors, right? Even so, Aspen has worked closely with its competitor to interface with Avidine's DFC-90 digital autopilot. Aspen President John Uzakai says cooperation makes sense. Well, basically it starts really fundamentally of what Aspen's all about. From day one, we've been a company built on partnering and building avionics for the low end of the market to make things affordable and bring different functionality that improve safety and, and such for the, for the low end. And really, this is one of these partnerships that kind of makes sense. I mean, we're not going to be in the autopilot business. And why should they when the Avidine Digital Autopilot is so good? The DFC-90 is a slide-in replacement for the STEC 55X Autopilot. The older STEC is a rate-based box that just can't fly an airplane as crisply as a new digital autopilot. I'm going to do a steep intercept and I'm going to do it hot. To test the new DFC-90, we flew Aspen's Cirrus at 170 knots toward a 90-degree intercept of an inbound RNAV course. Yeah, she does. We got the, the localizer or the yep. course line. Look at this. Wow. There she comes. There it comes. No sweat for the DFC-90. But again, very smooth, very crisp, but it's not yeah. hesitate. It it's just not, kind of picks it up it, and runs with it. It's just right. You know, it's not sluggish. Yeah, it's nice. It's not Meanwhile, the Aspen Evolution display clearly showed what the autopilot was up to and what the airplane was doing. And it's the Aspen AHARS, Attitude and Heading Reference System, that gives the autopilot the digital situational awareness it needs to do its thing. The DFC-90 has envelope protection, which works hard to prevent autopilot-induced stalls and overspeeds. Right. I'm going to slow her down. We'll go under speed protection here. Do that. Now it's going to push your nose over and keep you from stalling. And the straight and level button and is literally a lifesaver. Right you put it in whatever unusual attitude you want. Yeah, that's fine. Then when you're ready, just hit the straight and level button. Let her go. Excessive bang. Tom, what are you doing uh -huh. over there? <laughs> Look at that. Too much, too much partying last yeah. night. I just lost it there for a second. So then you get the, yep, you get the flash straight and level. Yeah. And she's going to establish a, uh, a pitch up and wings level. And then again, that used to always have that under speed protection so she won't stall the airplane. I see. Right. From my standpoint, just the workload, the ability to be able to focus on flying the aircraft and using the autopilot modes to ensure that you have control of the aircraft both mentally and physically, and you get to stay ahead of the aircraft. The reduced workload is probably the biggest thing that I saw in that airplane in IMC conditions, especially for a low time pilot like me.